What's going on guys, it's Sussex Farm here. Um, sorry I haven't done a video for, I think it's been, what, two, three months now? I've not really had anything interesting to post um, that I think you guys would, you know, want to watch and everything. Uh, we got lambing out of the way, I've got an update video coming on that, on how the lambs are doing. Um, we have wormed them a couple of times, which I forgot to record, but uh, that's, that's on my part really, because I should have recorded it, but I didn't. Um, currently got me. He's looking out out there. But pretty much, I was just going to um, do a video on um, the machinery we got and our land. I'm trying to focus it um, and go around the fields and show you how the hay fields are doing and any, everything like that. Um, our hay has pretty much nearly all gone now. So um, we've only got. Then bales there left, which I would have said there's about 25 in there, and there, as you can see, they are, they've gone down. We did have 200 stacked in here, all the way from down here, all the way up, I don't know whether you remember from the um, lambing video, I'm pretty sure I did a bit of a video about that, but I currently, on my Deut Aragon K10, uh, something like that. K610. Um, I've got my major um, 605 topper on it. I've been out doing some a uh, lot of contract jobs with the grass topper because uh, people this time of year got the grass growing up long and they don't don't want it long and everything. So I've had a couple of big jobs to do with that and uh, mowing verges and things. Um, there's my tractor. Uh, you've seen that in previous videos. It's um, Deutz. Agricon or Agriton, however you want to say it. it's a really fucking, it's a German word, so it's a bit twisty. K610. Um, brilliant tractor, haven't had no problems with it as yet. Um, but yeah, it's performed superbly well. The only thing I have done, which I'm pretty sure every single person in this world has done, such as farmers, is I broke my uh, flashing beacon off, but uh, we went up to Curtis Shores down in, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, down near Paddle Mill, down near uh, Windmill Hill, that way, Cow Beach, and uh, got two new of them, uh, two new flashing beacons, which is better with two anyway, if you're pulling um, dung trailers and stuff, it's a lot better. Um, here's my McConnell P, what's it, P5455, PA5455, it's uh, brand new, um, 2016, I got it of December last year. Um, could have gone for a second hand one but then you don't know what you're buying because you don't know whether your um all your pumps are good on it and everything like that you don't know what's worn sometimes you can have a bent your bent boom and you don't really want a bent boom because then you don't do a nicer job um yeah it performed excellently well i've got the motion um joystick which is in my bedroom i'll throw a picture of that up now um it's got a regular head on it normal sized head uh We'll see about, we'll see about four foot, three foot, something like that. Um, I will show you the flails. It's got regular headed flails on it. Um, it's got two speed, uh, two way rotation, so it can either spin that way or that way. Um, it's got cut off valves when you're travelling or whatever. Um, there's your engage switch for when you're engaging it. That's to change the which way it spins. Done a lot of work with that last year, cutting all our hedges. Um, just getting used to it really, because I've never cut a hedge with a hedge cut before. But it worked absolutely well on the Deut, absolutely flawlessly. Um, this is a hay mower, it's a drum mower, um, it's a Twos. We bought this, it was new in 2016. Um, it needs a bit of a wash, I did clean it off the other day, but still we're doing alright, we keep them in the barn, stop the rust getting on them, you don't really want to keep machinery outside if you can help it, because then it gets in all the little bits that you can't undo, so, but um, yeah, this is our flat 8 ground, picks up 8 small bales, or well, what I do is pick up 8 with it and then chuck another 8 on top, so you've got 8 underneath that is grabbed, and then on top I chuck another 8, do it that way, so then you're getting more off of the quicker time but uh, some people says it, it bends your 
rods and that, but I haven't found anything go wrong with it. They're not really heavy enough to do that. Um, we got our bale sludge. It's a Browns one. Uh, what's that say? It's half come off. Something light and buzzard. Uh, something light and buzzard, something like that. I don't know. You guys can see it for yourself. There. They performed absolutely flawlessly last year. Did 3,000 small bales of it, and then over 1,200 1, small square straw but barley bales of it. Uh, it didn't drop. It only dropped a couple of bales. But if you guys have this problem, all it done is this chain up in here got twisted like this. If I can do it. Oh, I can't do it. I might be able to do it. Hold on. Went like that and missed out a chain. I don't know if you guys can see it. So it was missing a chain and that was just pulling the cord too early and missing a bale. But um, I managed to notice it before I lost too many bales and having to keep jumping in and out of the tractor. Uh, this is our new Holland Super Hay Liner 276. Um, this bale is, she's quite old, but people we bought her off um, second hand she'd only done uh, how many bales was it I believe it was 11,000 bales which is nothing really considering its age and it's well it's immaculate you can see that you got a few nicks on it but for its age you will do with it the hedge or something but um, yes yeah, color on it's incredible for its age this will all soon shine up when we obviously start hay making um, I'll show you the knotters and the counter and everything. Here we got all the knotters up in here. They're soon going to be greased all up and polished up, ready for the season because we reckon we'll be mowing middle of June. Um, hopefully earlier if we get a couple of days worth of rain. We reckon we might be a bit earlier. But um, then you got the counter on there, set back to zero. Okay, guys, I'm in the other barn which was. Where we had the sheep during lambing as you can see it's full up at the minute went to a farm sale my mum bought i think it was 18 of them barrels christ knows why she done it but she got them for like four quid or something so <coughs> saves us using um tap water we can just use rain water this is our dung grab um really i want a bigger one than this but this is our um dung grab um really i want a bigger one it's only got one ram Really, I want three on it. This is what we use on the John Deere 2040. Um, it's got new valves on it, or some, I don't know what they're called valves actually, I'm not 100% sure. But my dad was using it for the first time when he bent the ram back too far and it hit there and bent these, so I had to put fit new ones in there. It's got a bit of a leak at the minute, which I've got to sort out actually. I think a seal's gone in it, um, which is not too bad of a job. But um, Then over here, we got a Howard Rotovaser. Beautiful thing that is, absolutely peace. It sounds absolutely incredible. It's a real joy to use. Um, here we got Fords and Dexter, which currently it runs and works, and I use it for logging actually. It's currently got a flat tire, which I've got to fix, or uh, I'll take Dara LG tires and they fix it. Um, but it chucks out so much smoke that um, it feels like you're sitting in a fireplace. And we got to reseat the valves. Um, they're not seating properly and it's chucking out too much smoke. If any of you know why else it might be chucking out smoke, then please let me know. Um, that's just what we think it might be. It might not actually be that. But I've got the um, handy little back bucket on it, um, which has got a load of willow in it in a minute that's drying out. That's about a year old, that willow, so it needs to sit and dry a bit more. Um, it's got brand new tyres on it. There's my mum, another one of my mum's carts. She drives horses, so... Um, yeah, and then we got this really old hedge cutter, which we was actually going to sell in a farm auction. There's my motorbike in pieces. Um, I can't remember what make it is. I uh, feel like it's um, a coon. For some reason, I don't know, I feel like it's a coon, but I don't think they had them that long ago. I don't think coon made them. No, but um, oh, it's Laylee, that's it. I knew it was something like that. But she's an old girl. There's no point in using that. It's absolutely, well, it'd be, you'd be spending more on it, doing it up than what you would making money with it. So 
Still works all right, but it's just pointless using it to be honest. Um, over here, we've got our Vicon fertilizer spreader slash glass spreader slash whatever you want to spread with it. Um, we haven't used this yet, we haven't really needed to. We've got to fix it up a little bit. Got a few cr cracks in it um, from the previous owner. But um, this will come in handy when we set spread, uh, spread new grass seed, which hopefully we'll be doing this year in the autumn. Um, probably be ploughing a few fields up and putting new grass seed in, new lay, get some better stuff off it. Um, there's my motorbike, uh, 125cc Welsh pit bike. It's currently got problems with the carb at the minute. Um, I took the fuel tank off for my friend's uh, motorbike up there. Here's the rotavator for the um, the, the uh, Kabuta. Absolutely perfect this is for if you've got a mini, a mini garden or anything like that. Um, it does the job flawlessly. You can adjust the heights obviously and everything else on it. So then it fits perfectly. That's my quad trailer. Um, I, you guys haven't seen my quad jet. I've only actually just bought it for a very tidy price. Um, I'm yet to get that back off the garage because they're currently repairing it for me. Because <coughs> I had a bit wrong with it. Uh, that was a bit out of my hands to fix. Because um, I've never worked on a quad bike before and I didn't want to go and muck it up really because it's a really nice quad bike. Um, this is our scales for our sheep. Um, or we use it for our pigs but the pigs get a bit agitated when they get in that little space. Um, they don't really like it so much uh, but yeah that's our sheep scales which will be coming out soon there'll be a video up of that where shortly in about a week two weeks time we'll be weighing uh, most of our lambs are nearly ready to go really they're around the 35 to 40 mark um, so they'll be going soon 34, uh, 35 to 40 kg if any of you was wondering um, this is our John Deere now as you can see it's in pieces um, got the bonnet off the side um, mesh gates off and if I climb up here you'll see I've got everything off leading to the rocker cover and the reason why I've leaded it to the rocker cover is because if I open this up take the rocker cover off it is absolutely you might have seen on my Instagram if any of you follow me full of water and oil we have had our head gasket go on this, unfortunately. Um, it's a big pain in the ass. I'm currently working on getting the head out at the minute. Um, shouldn't be too long before it's up and running. Um, but yeah, it's a big pain in the ass because if we're going to be haymaking soon, we're going to need this to load the bales. If not, it's not much of a big deal because <coughs> you can always load the bales by hand. It's just this makes it 20 times easier and less less graft I suppose um, it's a bit harder for when we got to get our round bales out but luckily we got a really good farmer friend who well, he does loads for us um, I can't thank him enough to be honest um, so we borrow his case at the minute uh, his case loader tractor um, but yeah hopefully that will be up and running soon if not I am debating on whether to get a new loader tractor because um, this has played up a little bit we had the hydraulic pump go last haymaking but then it sat here for a couple of years because it hadn't been used so everything sort of deteriorated unfortunately but hey ho that's that's old machinery for you but they're a lot easier to work on if that was my doits i definitely wouldn't be changing a head gasket on it i know that for a fact uh, this is all our junk that's my mum's big horse lorry that's her little horse lorry i don't know if you can see that because of the sun i've got two of these three of these clay traps Perfect though. This is my cousin's motorbike, 125cc Kawasaki. It's currently not working because it keeps flooding the spark plug out. That's our other horse box. And there's my Land Rover. Got the back off it now. Doesn't have a back on it. Um, back sitting there actually. Um, what else can I show you? We've cut, we have now actually got geese. Um, when I did the lambing videos, we didn't have any geese. We've got um, two ganders. And um, two, uh, two, two pairs, they're very nice these geese, we've currently got her laying on six eggs in that white um, ranger over back and there's the other gander, she's currently sitting on six eggs which they grow up and be for Christmas hopefully. Um, right I'm gonna go actually 
Philip. We've also got two more tedders out here. This is our hay bob. Um, this is what we use for um, tedding it, um, fluffing the hay up. <coughs> then there's our West Mac. Currently sorting the wheels out and that and that. That's our spare spare one. We use this one and the one in the barn mainly. This one teds it and the other one rakes it and rows it up. Uh, get the job done quite twice as quick that way. Um, this is our spare flat uh, sorry bale sledge if the other one did to break um, and uh, we're also keeping it because we probably going to be getting another small baler and running two small balers because I'm getting a lot and a lot of small baler contract work coming so if I can run two small balers and get a lot of jobs done quick then uh, pretty much more money in it so yeah that's all the machinery down here then obviously we've got our ring rolls two small ones and then that one I think they amount to uh, somewhere around 15 foot or something like that when they're all spread out um, these actually these lambs are not our breed of lambs this one is it's a bit poorly that one these are the sort of the small lambs these are young these haven't been born long these ones but my mum went and um, house sitted for a lady that breeds like easy care sheep they sort of um, they shed their own wool look after themselves really well they use them in New Zealand quite a bit and um, she got she had a ewe lamb that wasn't meant to be in lamb that gave birth to twins so she gave them to us and then she had a single out of a ewe lamb and she doesn't like wearing the ewe lambs down it's just her way of doing it sort of thing um, we had a ewe lamb and it died through having a lamb so we don't really like it too much but some people do um, but yeah these are my mum's little flock she's got three more up the field but they're a lot bigger than these ones so they had to go up there because they were pinching all the food but um, I'll take you up and show you the hay fields and then I will, um, yeah, well anyway, I'll see you up there. Actually guys, I completely forgot, I was going to show you my garden and the orchard and that. Um, here is my mum's and my fr best friend's chicken. Um, he keeps them down here because he um, doesn't really have anywhere to keep his chicken. Um, so you got these little chicks somehow they've got on the roof and they're not meant to be and then he's got lots of breeds he's got some geese down there buff orpingtons um, he's got some really nice chicken in here obviously you've got your egg layers um, so you can you know have some nice egg and toast and all that and egg sandwiches and if we come up here we've got my garden which is getting a bit overgrown but it's Hard to keep on top of the weeds when you've got about a billion other jobs to do. This is sort of my spare time thing. Um, I do all this. My dad did run it, but his breathing's got really bad at the minute. So I took it over. Um, I've bought, put my peas with this wire on it, and I really want sticks for them to grow up. But um, until I get some, I've just put this like this so they can just wrap around it and sort of hold themselves up a bit better. I know it's not the best way to do it, but as you can see, this one's doing all right. Um, off it and that so yeah these are my peas i've got two rows of peas this pea this row another row back up there these are my broad beans these are doing really well all the way along here obviously you've got weeds either side i've got to get the mower up and mow them off my dad has been up here today my dad has currently I'm been topping out here today um or mowing because it's not really very long grass it's just our orchard we've got tons of apple trees through here um, different bramleys and all that. Um, sorry, I'm trying to focus it. Got uh, your pear trees, which are over there somewhere. Got your plum trees, and we got cherry trees, um, which are soon going to be ready. I thought I'd go over there and check in a minute. Anyway, these are my potatoes going all the way along there and all the way along here. They're doing all right. I would. I would hope that, I wish they had grown a lot better, but the amount of rain, we, I've been trying to water them, but it's a bit hard when, um, as I said, you've got other things to do, but um, this has completely overgrown. The weeds, just I could not keep on top of the weeds on it. They were just growing after growing and growing, but I can sort of show you what I've got in here. I've got one complete line of beetroot going all the way up to there, and then I've got half a line of beetroot going to there. And I did have spring onions going all the way through here, but obviously we're never gonna find them. Um, but and then I've got another row of peas that run all the way along there. I'll try and find some, here they are. There's one right there, beautiful. 
yeah, and um, this is my dad's orchard. If I come close enough, you can see that they're already starting to go off a bit. Camera don't want to focus on it. There we go. Nice. I've um, got a beautiful view here. I know that. Look at that. There are the downs. South Downs over there. Beautiful. There's our church. Our church is the most beautiful church I've ever seen. Um, it actually sits in the middle of cornfields. So it's surrounded by cornfields and you have to go up a little lane to get to it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I've never seen a better church, to be honest. Um, my dad's rose. Um, that's pretty much it for up here. Um, there's our barn, barns. From when you're standing up here, they absolutely they look actually pretty big. Um, there's our neighbours. Looks pretty big. Um, Phil, come on. Um, hopefully, in about maybe a couple of weeks to a month, we're going to be getting some. Um, we're going to be getting some cattle. Um, we're going to get some sucklers, calves, and then perhaps get some either short horn heifers. And maybe a, a scimitar bull or limit uh, on a um, maybe a short horn bull, not 100% sure, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. But I'm gonna go up the fields and show you them now, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so I'm currently up the hay, one of the hay fields, or you could say two, I guess. Um, there it is. It's, this field's not, this is probably our least best grown field, um, but it's not doing too bad bad to be honest but um it'd be better if it was a bit a bit taller but still got still got a good we can always cut it late and um have another month of growth on it um but yeah it's growing very well that field up the back's about the same actually that one's probably grown a lot more higher than i probably that much more higher than this field um for the growth in the grass um but i've topped all around the outside just to get rid of the unwanted thistle spreading in the middle um, there's not really many docks out here, apart from that big patch there which I've got to go and get rid of. Um, so what I do is I go around with a knife and just cut them all out, every single field. Keeps them down and it keeps the people happy when they buy your hay. Um, but I will now venture down to the other field. Uh, I've got quite a few thistles out there but that doesn't matter too much out there because they shouldn't really spread this way because we never get wind that way. So. Um, yeah, I'll go down to the next field and show you that Okay one. guys, so um, in the last video uh, clip I forgot to tell you what acreage them two fields were. Them two fields combined make over, uh, just sorry, just under nine acres. So um, it's quite quite a nice sized field for the small bales. This field's doing really well. It's, well, it's getting up to waist height, which is perfect. Um, it's getting really thick in the bottom now. Starting to really thicken up. I've still got a load of dock leaves to cut out. Um, which I'm probably going to do next week in the evening. I'll do that in the evening time just before it gets dark. Come up here and start cutting them out. Um, I've filled up the top there. That's the same as this, grown exactly the same. It's doing really well. Um, this field here is uh, also just under. Uh, no, this one's 8.5 or something like that acres. That one up there is just like literally just under nine acres. Um, so they're nice sized fields for the small bales. The small bales on this field, that field, and a field up, them two fields up there. Um, so we should get uh, hopefully 3,000 or, or over small bales off of them three fields. And um, then I will show, uh, and then I will go and show you the um, other hay fields we got, which be our round bales. Um, th this year we are actually renting 30 acres of grass, standing grass, because we want to make 400 round bales this year, because um, our round bales are selling so well and we've got so much demand for our round bales, um, we may as well just, it'd be so much cheaper and more convenient to just rent 40 acres and do it that way, uh, 30 acres, sorry, um, and do it that way and get our 400 bales. Um, this is where our muck heap is. We've got to pile it up when the John Deere's done. Um, this, third, well, it'd be a lot bigger than this, obviously, when it comes to spreading it. Uh, these are going these two fields uh, just to get a bit more um, nutrients and everything else back into the grass and make it grow a bit more better than what it was. Last year, we actually put fertilizer on the fields that I'm showing you on, um, on these two. Didn't put them on that one, them two there. All the round bell fields I did. Um, but to be honest, it hasn't 
it's grown pretty much the same as when we put the fertiliser on it. And the fertiliser we put on was the expensive fertiliser, not the cheap shit you can buy that doesn't really actually do anything. It wasn't, you know, the good, good branding. Um, but I, we actually don't really notice much of a difference. Perhaps it is a bit thicker in the bottom when you've got fertiliser on it and you get more a bit more growth in the root, but I don't know. You, place your guys' opinions in the bottom if you think fertiliser does the job or not really. But uh, we didn't put it on this year anyway. Um, fertiliser fertilizer definitely makes the dock leaves come out more, I can tell you that. We have way more dock leaves than what's in here this year. 100%. Someone's having a bonfire up on the hill. But yeah, I'll go show you guys the other fields. I'll be right back. Right, guys, I'm currently at um, the other small square bale field. Um, I was literally just standing up there talking a minute ago. Um, but if we come across this dodgy old bridge um, here, then I will show you, as long as I was walking across the footpath, hear me talking to myself. Um, this is our other hay field, um, which was the one on the bank that I showed you in the previous clip, up the top. Um, this is a fairly decent sized field. It's not our biggest field, but um, this is our yeah, this is our definitely our second biggest field. Our biggest field's um, 13 acres, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is growing very nicely. Um, last year it didn't actually grow too well. We had to cut this nearly last because of um, the um, what's it called? The fertilizer didn't really work too well on this field. But I've actually talking about um, last season I have got some mowing clips of me mowing last season that I'm probably gonna make up into an, uh, like a 2016 collection um, I've got them on my like action camera thing um, and I'm gonna throw them into a different video just to um, you know um, just show you what happened last year I think I only got mowing I might have got some Ted in um, I can't remember but there's a stream that runs under here so in the winter when we get a lot a lot of rain not like this winter where we've had fucking no rain excuse my language but this does actually lift up and then all the boards move about so we're gonna actually concrete this and put a proper hardcore bridge in when i get my digger this year which hopefully i'm getting a five five and a half ton digger this year um hopefully uh, i'm gonna purchase and then uh, get my digger license and go out doing contract job that way do whatever you can to make money that's what you got to do in life um apparently but yeah it's going all nice it's the land rover she's looking very clean so cleaned her waxed her she's getting a bit dirty now i've going around the fields but yeah i'll get back to you guys when i'm around the round bale field okay guys this is our what we call top marsh field or it's called um upper lodge field um on the uh, map um with all the names on it for the fields around it but um yeah this is growing really well last year we didn't put any fertilizer on it we wasn't actually going to hay this field um, but we didn't need to put our sheep out here because this is our 13 acre field um, it didn't actually it kept growing and growing and growing so we didn't actually need to move the sheep off it so we just thought oh well if if hay making does carry on till late we'll see how this grows and just mow it and it actually growed really well um, last year and got load quite a few decent round bales off it um, but uh, this year we've actually let it grow properly and took care of it and that not put fertilizer on it but it's growing really well um, not obviously as good as what it could grow but it's still growing really decent for what we want so um yeah i'm really happy with how this is growing topped around the outside of this field as well as you can see um but there's not there's only like a few dock leaves actually in this lot and the reason being is because over that side um colin next door the farmer he's got um corn all through there through there so it doesn't there's no dock seeds that can actually spread onto this field and we haven't got any out here so it's um that's why there's hardly any out here to be honest but there's our lower marsh field that these fields here these are all ours are back right down there and um, that's what we call marsh field because it's all marshland um we actually haven't got anything down there at the minute that's where we're going to put all our cattle um when we get get a load of them um and they they run all that down but yeah this is one of our round bale fields um yeah it's growing very nicely now I'll go over, just on the brow of that hill is our other field, so I'll go over there now. I'll see you when I get there. Okay guys, this is our last hay field, which we did round bales in last year. Um, it's actually growing really well. Um, I'll walk out there and show you if I can get the gate open. Um, I topped this the other day and it's already growing well over my ankle. It's crazy, but yeah, this has thickened up really nice. It's got a really nice thick bottom on it. 
Um, the reason being is because last year we didn't actually hay this top bit because we didn't have enough store because there was so much hay on the other fields it grows so well last year um because we it was delayed and delayed to august and uh, it just kept raining and making the grass grow raining a little bit of sun raining and that it grew incredibly well so we didn't actually need to cut this top bit um so we only cut along the bottom and did round bales down there and um that was well, i think we got this is an eight acre field uh eight and a half acre field yeah and we got about nearly nearly must be nearly 90 bales off no 80 bales off half so that shows how much hay was actually on here um but yeah it's growing really well out here this will probably be the first field we cut um this top half anyway the bottom half might be cut later on um because it's not growing as well but it's all growing good to be honest um i hope you've enjoyed this sort of update video of what i'm what's going on at the minute and machinery machinery video and a sort of a tour of the land there's still plenty more fields up over over that way they've got the woodland there and more fields back that way but um yeah i'll show you them later on when it comes to it and uh hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe go check my instagram out matt underscore beach i post what i do pretty much daily on there whether it's tidying tractors up, fixing tractors, moving things, uh, my contract work. I post it all up on there. So if you're going to keep updated on what I'm doing day to day, go up on there. Don't forget to drop a like. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video. Peace.